stress relief videos. George Mallory, the explorer who made the first attempt to climb Everest. At nearly 9,000 meters high, Everest is considered the highest mountain in the world and, in addition to the unique view it offers with its imposing appearance, it has a terrible reputation for causing the deaths of many mountaineers. Named after Sir George Everest, a British explorer who served in India between 1830 and 1843, the mountain was not fully explored until the early 1900s. Although it was not possible to reach the summit until the 1920s, geographical and geological discoveries were made. Maps were drawn and the characteristics of the mountain were tried to be determined. Especially the outbreak of World War I in 1914 naturally postponed a special research such as climbing to the summit of Everest. Any mountain climbing was a team effort from the beginning to the end. In addition to the food, drink, shelter, tents, clothes and equipment you would need at any time, it required exceptional coordination and planning. You had to instantly report your situation to the team following you. You also had to know the daily weather conditions. Without access to these facilities in the 1920s, climbing Everest was literally a dance with death. In 1921, another British adventurer attempted the ascent. George Mallory and a few friends first tried to find the best route from the foot of the mountain. Their 1921 expedition was short-lived. A year later, in their second attempt with their oxygen cylinders, they came very close to the summit, but had to turn back again. Because an avalanche had killed eight people with them. When asked why he endured so much difficulty to explore Everest, Mallory replied, because it is standing there. Everest was standing there, but reaching the summit was not as easy as it seemed. This would be Mallory's third attempt. He was now experienced and wanted to win this race. Together with his friend Andrew Irvine, they left their last camp on June 8, 1924 and moved towards the summit. Mallory and Irvine were never seen again after they set out on the final ascent route. Nothing was found of the two of them for years. In the 1930s, Andrew Irvine's ice axe was found at 8,440 meters. In 1975, a Chinese mountaineer reported seeing the bodies while climbing. In 1991, an oxygen cylinder was discovered, believed to belong to the two climbers. The summit of Everest was reached in the 1950s. In the years that followed, many explorers reached the summit. Many climbers also lost their lives. The bodies of Mallory and Irvine were still unaccounted for. In 1999, mountaineer Conrad Onker found the body of George Mallory during a climb. Anker describes the moment as follows, it was white, a dull color like marble. When I got closer I realized it was the body of the British climber, frozen on the mountainside. At that moment I thought maybe I should keep this secret and keep climbing, but that wouldn't be right. The frozen body of George Mallory, the mountaineer who made the first attempt to the summit of Everest, was found exactly 75 years later. Andrew Irvine, who was with Mallory, has not been found since that day. The question of what happened to these two climbers, the pioneers of climbing the world's highest mountain, and whether they reached the summit is still in the minds of the curious today.